welcome back to my channel. My name is Niobe, for those of you who are new and for all my girlies returning. Hey friend, I've missed you guys so much and today we're gonna talk about why your natural beauty will always win. Have you ever heard the phrase, less is more? Well, I am a strong believer that the same applies to beauty. We've been getting told since the beginning of time that as women, in order to feel the most beautiful, we need to look the part. We need to buy these products, apply tons of layers of makeup, dress in provocative clothes, keep up with ever-changing beauty trends, and basically change who we are in order to make the world happy. I feel like only a small percentage of us have been taught at a young age that our natural beauty is enough. And even as we grow up and go through life, we all have been influenced by society's expectations of what is considered beauty or at least what was considered beautiful at that time. And isn't that funny that we can reflect on a time that we change parts of ourselves in order to fit a certain beauty criteria and what is far from what is considered beautiful in society's eyes today? That should tell you that society's ideal beauty is a fleeting image. I really think that this pressure and ideal ever-changing image of beauty is a ghost or actually better yet a spirit created to haunt women. You know, it's really sad because as you grow up, if you pay attention, a lot of what the world considers ideal are actually expectations meant to break your spirit. These expectations have a lot of women in a choke hold in a mental cage that they just can't seem to get out of. Now I say the word haunt because I feel like if society had healthy standards and just pressures, then it would not equate to billions of young and older women hating themselves, not liking what they look like, wanting to go under the knife to change their appearance, have low self-esteem, and hide under materialistic things. Well, babe, if anyone hasn't told you yet, or maybe you just need a gentle and honest reminder, your natural beauty will always win. And that's what I feel like is so ironic about this topic because the only way you can win against these competitive beauty standards is to embrace the natural you. You actually win when you don't participate and you make yourself the beauty standard. I strongly believe that deep down inside every woman, there's a small seed waiting to get watered with self-belief and affirmations. There is honestly so much power in knowing yourself, but I can bet that all of us know that. You know the deal, before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join us for a beautiful journey of self-discovery, empowerment, sisterhood, and fucking audacity. So first things first, let's just jump straight into it and talk about surgical enhancements. Okay, so surgical enhancements have had us in a chokehold for over a decade now. Okay, like BBLs were just this huge trend going on. It got so popular that not only celebrities had BBLs, but cashiers had BBLs, nurses had BBLs, the stay-at-home moms had BBLs. Honestly, it's really sad to sit here and think how much plastic surgery has taken over the beauty industry and just influenced so many women to believe that they are enough or that there's something wrong with them or they need to look completely different in order to have a certain life or a certain man. I feel like there is not enough women on this platform talking about how much they regret going under the knife, risking their lives, changing their bodies, surgically enhancing yourself with a BBL, getting your breasts done, getting your lips overfilled, any type of body enhancement that is meant for the male gaze is going to strongly be associated with porn, the porn industry. That is the truth. I think all the ladies who go under the knife know this, or at least should know this. As a woman, you have to think about scenarios. When you walk into a room, would you rather feel respected or lusted and objectified. This beauty that once seemed so unattainable because of its secrecy, then it was a matter of the pricing, you know, getting surgery done is never cheap, but that didn't stop people. Eventually it became something anyone could have. I mean, plastic surgeons are taking credit cards. What you can get from all of this is that beauty is not something everyone can obtain. If everyone can obtain it, 
with time it doesn't become beautiful beauty should not be like this trend that you can just like change your entire look to follow because once everyone has it what is so beautiful about it beauty is rare beauty is iconic and you only experience that true beauty when you celebrate your natural essence because everyone doesn't look like you no one has your eyes your lip shape your brows, a beautiful body you walk around in, and your complexion. Everyone wants what they can't have unless everyone else already has it. Your unique natural beauty will always win because it is unobtainable and that is your power. I am definitely a woman who loves her exclusivity. If everyone has it, I don't want it. If everyone's giving it attention, I am doing the complete opposite. I've kind of always been that way. I don't know, I just feel like if it's that obtainable, it just can't be that special. And I pray that God continues to make me different and to have this thought process. And I definitely encourage you all to do the same. Okay, now let's talk about false advertising. What I mean by false advertising, I kind of mean like overdoing your look, overcompensating for what you believe you lack in, in order to feel good enough to be presented to the world. So that you guys understand my thought process, it's, it's like this, let me put it this way. When I put on makeup, I love to put on makeup that makes me and other people say, wow, she's beautiful versus oh her makeup's pretty you see the difference if you are only putting on makeup to feel confident and to change your whole like face your whole jawline your whole nose structure everything about your face just to make yourself feel better and feel good enough then that is a really unhealthy relationship that you have with your beauty. Beauty products are here to enhance who we are. And the reason why they don't feel beautiful is because they have invested so much into this, this false advertisement they've created of themselves to feel good enough. And they haven't invested or poured into who they actually are, their natural beauty, their natural essence. You gotta think like she's so pretty she doesn't even need that by the way are we all loving my fall makeup sorry just a side note i just want to throw this in there my makeup today is so bomb guys i think i'm gonna do a tutorial what do you guys think it's just uh so freaking pretty and it was a super easy look to do so what i mean to say by all of this is that when you do a lot it shows that you're doing a lot like Okay, she's doing the most. And not in an eye rolly kind of way. I know I just rolled my eyes. <laughs> but in a way where it's just like, girl, like, you're so pretty. You don't even need to do all that. Like, yeah, you can if you want. Obviously, I'm not judging you for it at all. But what I'm saying is, this is for the girlies who feel like they need to do a lot in order to feel pretty, in order to meet some sort of standard, when in reality, their natural beauty is the standard. It is so important that while you're experimenting with your look, that you celebrate your natural beauty and keep the integrity of your natural essence, of your natural features, of who you naturally beautifully are. And in the process, you're communicating to the world that you are comfortable in your skin and confident but do you really want to attract something that desires you when you look nothing like yourself now i have been modeling for some time now if you guys didn't already know um definitely check me out on instagram i do post a lot of my modeling work there um but i tend to always gravitate towards and really admire and love the makeup artists who know how to enhance my natural features not makeup artists who create features that are not there like my nose for example i have a very ethnic and beautiful nose like i feel like my nose is so like in in beauty standard it's so like not the beauty trend but bitch i love my face like i i feel like the reason why i'm so beautiful is because it's just so me i literally like have worked with makeup artists who will do my makeup and like I'm like, why does my nose look like that? Like, that's not my nose. Like, don't make me look like something I'm not. Like, I love my features. I wanna celebrate my features. When you're presenting an image you created 
out of low self-esteem, out of fear, out of not feeling good enough? Do you feel like you are attracting the right tribe, the right partner? Another reason why natural beauty always wins is because when you learn to embrace your beauty internally and externally, you actually become a lot more beautiful. And that includes the improvement of your self-esteem. I mean, how many of us know an absolutely breathtakingly gorgeous woman with the lowest self-esteem. No matter how beautiful you are, if you are not aware of your light, of, of your beauty inside or out, you're literally gonna walk around this world not realizing the blessing that you have. When you love looking in the mirror in your most natural state without picking yourself apart, you win. Remember, no one can make you feel less than except for you. What I love most about falling in love with yourself in your most natural state is that you actually give yourself a clean slate every day, meaning like you look at yourself in your natural state, love yourself and see if there's anything you need to work on. Regarding physicality, for example, I typically don't wear makeup every day and because of that, I'm able to have nice, beautiful, clear skin by keeping track of it. I know that there's a lot of women that when they are breaking out or they've been breaking out for years, that they just pile on a bunch of makeup in order to hide what needs to be worked on in order to you know, push off or dismiss what their bodies are going through. The power of embracing your natural beauty and your natural state is that you can tend to your knees faster than if you are constantly trying to project a certain image out into the world. I personally know women who have spent thousands of dollars on makeup, but never spent a dime on an esthetician, never spent enough money on skincare products and under all that great high quality makeup that they have their skin is like going through it and i remember i had a friend and i had to like literally put my foot in her behind because i'm like stop neglecting yourself right. so how many of y'all have seen those high maintenance videos on youtube or on tiktok where women talk about like the thousands of dollars they spend on maintenance every two weeks or in a month. Raise your hand. I spend money on maintenance. However, I don't spend thousands of dollars, okay? Like, it's very important to not be delusional with your finances. So obviously, we cannot talk about beauty without talking about money, especially when we're talking about like keeping up with beauty trends. And a lot of money goes into keeping up with the world. All that's gonna do is literally ruin your pockets. And I don't wanna say every girly ends up in a lot of debt. I would just say for the girlies who spend thousands of dollars on beauty services that they cannot afford, who are living check to check, who have barely any savings saved up, you really have to take a pause. If you're someone who's paying excessive amounts of money to maintain yourself, but you're living check to check, and there is no food in the fridge, your car payments are late, your rent is late, you ain't got no savings. But stop trying to keep up with celebrities. Stop trying to keep up with the world's expectations when it's not realistic. You know, you need to make sure that as a woman, you are taking care of yourself. Well, Amiga, thank you so much for watching. I definitely enjoyed creating this video for you all. If you guys have any questions or wanna leave a comment encouraging all the other girlies to love their natural beauty, comment down below. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I'll talk to you girlies very soon.